Believe it or not, folks, it is officially springtime. Despite the lingering cold and in some parts of the country, piles of snow, warmer weather is coming. Now, to get you in the springtime mood and help you enjoy what's coming, we have some great apps to take advantage of in the new season. Here to tell us all about them is tech, tech, tech expert, easy for me to say, <laughs> Nika Allen. Nika, thank you for coming Hi, in. I appreciate thank it. You yeah, for absolutely. Me. So, let's talk a little bit about some of these apps that can kind of help us just generally overall. We're going to talk three specific apps. Yeah. But what are some maybe must have apps as we enter the spring? Um, well, there's a couple. I mean, there's really, you know, there's an app for everything, as mm -hmm. they say. Um, but Today I'm going to focus on three specific apps, mm -hmm. something to help you get fit, something to go shopping because who doesn't like shopping, mm -hmm. and then a DIY app, which oh, is, just cool. has tons of great ideas. Great. So. Well, let's start with the, uh, the one to get us fit. Let's talk about that. Um, the app I chose to get you fit is, I've been using it at home actually, and I absolutely love it. It's called Hot Five, mm -hmm. and it's uh, personal trainer workouts on your phone, videoed timed at five minutes so you don't go over and they show you exactly what to do and you can do it all at home it requires little to no equipment mm -hmm. if you need like barbells maybe at the most but everything's so easy and they time and you get points for doing it you can oh, wow. share with your friends on facebook it's okay. really fun that's great and you know being able to to do something without equipment is always really important because yes. you know maybe you're at the office you're at the two casa studios or something you can't get to equipment but exactly. you want to get that workout and that's perfect exactly that's great now is that a what is the cost on that app free it is free that's my great. favorite apps are free apps <laughs> that's always great that's yes. great well so uh you said something for the shoppers now I'm not a huge shopper, but you know, uh, <laughs> you know, surprise, surprise, guys yeah. sometimes are not. But let's talk about the shopping app, the one you're excited about. The shopping app that I find most intriguing right now is called Winello. Mm -hmm. It's like a Pinterest, if you guys have used that, where you mm -hmm. get to see lots of different, um, you know, scrolls and feeds of pretty pictures and stuff, but you can actually buy everything on there. And this app connects you directly to the website, so you can purchase right away and oh, that wow. exact item. Wow, okay, yeah. so you see something that you like, it'll give you that hyperlink that you can just instantly go there. Exactly. I can understand that could be pretty dangerous. It, it could be very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> for those of us that like to shop, it's very dangerous. Yeah, is there an app for self-control? That's the one that needs to <laughs> go with it. There's plenty of banking apps out there <laughs> yeah, right. that you can, you know, organize all your finances. Right, so, okay. And then the there. third one you said that I am actually very excited about. I love uh, DIY projects at the house. So let's talk about the do-it-yourself app. That app um, is actually called brightness and I have okay. been so impressed with it it really has anything and everything that you could want ideas I was reading last night how to you know disinfect the germiest places in your house mm. really a lot of spring cleaning tips um, but there's tons of stuff how to protect your home from a burglary mm -hmm. it's really fascinating and you can it has a fabulous interface I don't know if I can show it to you guys right sure, now we'll turn it around the, but, the question um, whether we can see it or not yeah. but uh, <laughs> yeah so we got it right there but um, it's got a fabulous interface where you mm -hmm. can like things, you can save them for later, mm -hmm. and it actually has a time estimate on everything. So it's okay, hold it up again there. Let's see if we can get a shot there. Let's see, those like cool interfaces. So a really easy interface, which is always good. You know, sometimes yep. some apps out there. You know, they may be really great, but whoever was in the design department on its interface, not so much. Exactly. So we like apps that are very easy to use, mm -hmm. user-friendly, don't require a lot of explanation. You mm -hmm. know, if you're using an app and it takes too long to understand, no one's going to use it. You're yeah. going to throw it out right away. Yeah, absolutely. But this app, you can even, you can take all these, um, you know, ideas or DIY things, and you can actually put it into your calendar directly from your phone, and your phone can remind you, Oh, you said you were going to clean this. You said you were going to do that. Oh, so, very cool. Yes, it's so helpful. It's been incredible. So it's also kind of a honey-do list app as well. You put that in there and yeah. then you're held accountable to do it. Yep. Now, uh, these are all on the iPhone. Are they also available on Android? Um, some are available on iPhones, but uh, and some Android. Mm -hmm. Uh, they're not out for iPad yet. Not for iPad. So, yeah. Use, okay. your, use your iPhones. Okay. But. The iPhones. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, folks, uh, we will have information on all of these apps. Just head over to our website at casa.com. Click on the style tab. Nika, thank you so much for thank coming you. in. Thank you.